zing that of the, uh, over the head of Chris Carter, and it'll be second and ten. And it is Dakota Day's homecoming here at the University of South Dakota. A lot of the players that have been part of the 502 wins here in the history of University of South Dakota football on hand. One of them is down on the field with us. Joe Glenn was a quarterback here at the University of South Dakota in the early 70s. Went on to a very distinguished coaching career. And coach, great to have you along. How are you? Uh, it's just great to be here. My first Dakota Day since 1970. <laughs> Give us your professional opinion here on the uh, first half. I, I'm loving what the Coyotes are doing. We got maybe get a few more points on the board, but they're playing good team defense. Noah's made some great plays offensively. Special teams real good. Um, we're in it. We just keep playing hard, a lot like the Nebraska game. Just keep it close and watch Noah make the plays to win it down the stretch. Hey, as an old quarterback yourself, what what's changed in the quarterback position? Are these guys just bigger and stronger and yeah. faster like everybody else? What well, you maybe don't know, I was such a great quarterback my <laughs> senior year, they moved me to wide receiver. <laughs> but you're seeing athleticism just at, at, at Noah, and uh, this denim kid hasn't missed by a, an inch the whole game. Just really athletic, very accurate, wonderful players. Big third down here, and Coach, we'll get back to you right after this play. Good. And him avoids the pressure again, but Curry Grant's got another first down to the 48-yard line. Down, but they just find ways to convert on third down. Coach Glenn, you've uh, coached at all different levels, Northern Colorado in Division II, a couple of national championships there at the University of Montana, and then most recently at uh, the University of Wyoming. What, what's the difference between those levels? What, what's the difference in these players between Division II and when you get to the big level? I think it, it, at every level you get get to pick your players a little higher up on the chain and so you know the size and the speed gets the higher up you get a little bit different not you don't get them all that's for sure I mean we've all had guys from uh, South Dakota northern Arizona northern Colorado playing in the NFL but um, in general the, in the line probably is where the biggest difference is the, the bigger guys are harder to come by gotcha um your opinion and uh, I guess your reaction when the university decided here a couple of years ago said we're going to go division one we're going to go through the transition your reaction to that we're not taking a back seat to South Dakota State <laughs> in anything so it was time we, we didn't bring them up I did <laughs> and they, they should be playing us there's no doubt about it the governor should step in and say this let's get it going so uh, no I'm really happy I think it's going to mean a lot more to all the kids uh, to their degrees that this is a division one school uh, your program um, Recruits a little bit better. Um, it's a great step for South Dakota University. There we go, Coyotes. Oh, second second in the backfield. Yes. A Booker four. Good. With the 14th sack of the season for the USD Coyotes, and the first time they've been able to get to Denham this afternoon. They've knocked him down a couple of times on this series. That's the first time they've been able to knock him down while he's still got the ball in his hands. Coach Glenn, last thing before we let you go. I know you're a native of Lincoln, Nebraska. What, are, where are you living nowadays? Are the coaching days done, or what are you up to nowadays? Um, I'm living in Phoenix, Arizona, and playing golf twice a week with my wife <laughs> and seeing my grandchildren a lot uh, while we're traveling. I'm on a five-week trip right now seeing some football and seeing grandchildren, and life is good. All right, we're going to leave it up to you to get Governor Rounds on the phone and get that <laughs> SDSU-USD game. Give me his number. <laughs> Have a great afternoon Thanks and a lot, great Phil. weekend. It's great to see you. Go Coyotes. That is Joe Glenn, one of the alumni here, quarterback back in 70-71. Draw play, picked up a few on third and a mile for the Aggies, but a flag in the middle of the field could move him back further. We might have a hook or a, or a hold or a block in the back. Looks like a hold is what they're signaling to the Coyote sideline. Coyote defense.